Hey, what's up guys and um, uh, welcome to this tutorial and today I want to show you how you can uh, export a character from um, Dust Studio to Icron. So uh, let me just show you something. Um, let me let's start with a new file like um, no I don't want to save anything so I have this one and to make this one easier you can just use anything like you can come here to the uh, figures and then you make your uh, g8 character or you make your um, you add everything so at last when you are done you'll be able to have a character like uh, ready to later and when you open this one then you can just click one of uh, like ready to later so like, I'm, I'm just going to click this one here and now you have this character here so we want to see whether this character is a 3d so we can also move a bit like if i click there i can be able to zoom my character and see him good so you can also try to rotate him to the side and it try to see how our character look like so um if you just make your own character and you want to use this character in the uh, icon so what you just need to do is that you need to come here and what you're going to say that you're going to say uh export your character and you're going to export your character as the auto decks so there are so many ways here that you can export your character but i would advise you to export your character as Autodex FPX. So you choose a name. Let me see whether I have a name. So I can um let me just call this one uh uh does uh I hope I add tests so and then I'll just say save then it will pop for you this window here so before you make any any modification you have to watch for the following thing so you have to leave all those things the setting the way they are you can come here and you change your modification but i like to leave mine at uh, fpx 2012 so um when i'm done now what i'm going to do is just i'm going to say export and it will export everything and even the motion so when you are done then now you can come here and you can open your um, a 3d exchanger you need a 3d exchanger pipeline if you have to do this way and then i can now open where i saved so i like to save my files where i can get them easy like for me i have this one here and i'm i save my character as the um does test so i'm just going to click to drag that one there and then i'll just say okay and i'll wait for everything so what is going to happen is that the 3d exchange is going to convert this character to give this character the bone structure that is required for uh you to have on the um uh icon so you cannot export your character direct to the icon and i would like to show you this one why so let me just show you something if you want to export this character from does direct to the uh so i just say yeah okay and then this one i just say okay and now i have my character here if you see now my character is exported here as a t post this is what icon is going to take so the thing i wanted to show you something i wanted to go back here and maybe i just open my icon here and i can try to import or i just this, this is the same thing for me if i have to do something i just like to drag them and drop them here so um let's see what is going to happen so you have your character here so this is uh the thing i like about this one this you can use this one you can export your character direct yeah but some character when you modify them they need some bone to be um uh to be modified in the 3d x stage um so the thing if i want to prove whether this character is fit for the i can 
use this character on my icon I just come to the motion and I like to use this motion here this female here then I add this emotion there um, and now look what is telling me uh, fade to apply the motion data is incompat uh, incompatible with the target so this is the problem we're going to experience to avoid this problem if you try you cannot use this one so it will avoid this problem so I'm going to delete this character here and what I'm going to do is that um, I'm going to go back to my uh, 3d xh you can just download this one as a trial version to test it but they only give you uh, like you only need to export like uh, uh, 15 of them so what I'm going to do is that uh, I'll just say uh, apply to icron. This is just simple, just apply to icron. And what is going to happen is that, let me show you what is going to happen now. This character now will be open on the icron. And now we can now test our character to see whether you can use your character on the, you see now the motion is compatible. So this is now if I try to pray. So let me just pray again. So now you can see that my character is uh, simple. This, this is just an easy way. Sometime you might uh, need to do the same for some character but it will not work as easy as what because the character that i used here was already lady to later so maybe let me just try something here all uh okay let me just go back and say i want a new project i don't want to save anything and i try to make a quick a character like let me just i like to use the let me just take this female here and then uh, I go to here and then I can just take one of those hairs maybe uh, I just take that one there uh, yeah and supported so accept so sometimes they because some here they belong to uh, does has two things it has the Genesis 3 I think here yeah, Genesis 3 and Genesis 8 so something will be compatible to the Genesis 8 and something will not be compatible to the Genesis uh, 8 or whatever. So what I'm going to do is that um, now let me just uh, go to the before I do that one I want to add some material. So let's see what we have like the skin. So let's add um So poses no proper we don't need um wardrobe let's see whether you have an outfit uh product maybe here have something that is uh, already um so if I go to the wardrobe I might see whether I have something like um uh, So those are the choose. Let me see. So now we have this character here we have made. And uh, I still want to make this character a bit look like. So I have to go to the... material and I want the skin tone now let me just go to the finger so this is the problem when you experience so let, let's just let me just say no and start again let me just take this character the base one and with this character I go to the hair so I want to add the hair to make the hair look a bit so I would like to use this hair here 
and then I can just go to the wardrobe like where we were here and I just take this wardrobe here So now you see now you start now experiencing some problem here because those two characters they don't fit and this is the problem with the does like they have some avatar that you have to keep on fitting and to keep on seeing which one they are going to fit for your project and the same mistake if you don't correct them here you, you have the same kind of mistake on your project on the icon or whatever so um i would I just want to go here let me just use this on the character and then with this one I just go to the wardrobe and I'm trying to look for a good so let me just take this one here And let's wait okay this one uh, this one fit good and now we can try to put some hair so I'm, I don't want to do so many modification because I don't want to make this video look so wrong and then I just say accept and now what I just need is the I'm looking for the anatomy no post no camera no document no environment no figure no hair light no material I'm looking for the skin color uh, Oh, exactly. So let's put this on and see. Uh, that one, no. So yeah, the, the, uh, that one look a bit good. So let's see this one here. So if you are new to DAS, you okay, good. That one look good. Now we can see everything. But you now you see that there is a problem with the hair here. So uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to export this character to the as an FBX, and I'll just say uh, DAS uh, test two, and then I just use the same thing. And I'll just say okay. This will not take long long time. It it will not. It will be just so easy. Then it will be just uh, exported to the um, uh, as an FPX. And now we can be able now to. Um, so as it's, it's finishing, so what I like to do, I can just come here, and I just say that I want to have a new one here. So, and then I just minimize this window so that we can see everything. And now we wait that everything is done leveling. So this one is not going to take long. So now it's done, exposed. So now we can now come here to our folder and now we have this dust test tool and now we can drag and drop and say okay just uh, what you just need to say is okay because sometimes the system doesn't understand what you're doing because they are it has to get some um, information from you and the best thing to do is that uh, you have to make sure that you do it and guys i'm also doing some tutorial for the uh marvel design and i'm showing you how you can be able to design good clothes for your character and just happening here
okay let's wait there's a okay it's still converting and as it's being done so i can just delete this one so that we don't make our video look so long and Now what you see that uh, you see this the, the software is trying to convert the uh, this character and uh, uh, before it's done so I can just try to drag this character here and we see how it's what's going to happen because I like to try new things every time so let's see what's going to happen if I drag it there whether it's going to change some things or it's just going to make it look um the same way so this one is like it's done so i just want to say yeah This is what happen when you try to do two things at the same time. So now you have like the good thing is that this character came good here and you can see like but this is the same mistake that we had with the hair because I think this hair was not for the same characters um here. So if you try to add so let's try to add our motion and see. It will also tell you if you to apply the uh, motion data incompatible with the target. So the same mistake as we had from the previous thing. So we just delete this character. It's going to be useless on our project. And now we come back and say, okay. So the thing is that you can never uh, import a character direct to the icon or to the character creator without taking it first to the um first to the uh, 3d exit so it will be i would advise you first of all to um to take your color to the 3d x stage let it be converted and now you just need to say when it's done you don't need to do anything just say apply to icron and how you see everything the cloth looks so good the texture and everything and this is just going to take uh, a minute and let's see how it's going to happen it's not going to take long this would only take some few seconds and then it will be updated on our uh, icron So I'm just waiting for this one to finish. Yeah, now it's uh, uploading to the icon. It's loading. And here comes the character that we were looking for. So the thing that you see is that if you look, the same mistake we had before we made this the hair but everything come came good like we have everything here if i rotate our character i can be able to use it and now let me if you want to know whether you can use this character the best thing to do is just to try the motions and to try to drag it and to see how that's going to work so 
and like usual let me just say so guys that's how you 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 up uh there's a problem with my motion here So from here, I find it so easier to drag the motion. So if you're having the icon, you don't, you can double click or you can just drag everything there. And now you can just pray. And now you have your character. You see everything is just working good and that's how you move your character from Dark Studio to the Icron. And thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you next on my next video. Bye.